This is Robert Smith from M2 Technologies, here to present you with a tech tip. In this video, we will briefly discuss the benefits of leveraging symmetry in your simulation models. In another video, we discussed how leveraging symmetry in your simulation models allows you to reduce run times and increase accuracy. We also discussed how to set up a symmetric model. Here we will focus specifically on how a symmetric model helps you to set up a statically stable problem. One of the challenges of setting up a static problem is properly constraining it, without over constraining it. This is especially true of problems that are not actually static in the real world. Let's look at this towing hitch assembly as an example. In real life, friction and contact with other parts is enough to prevent this pin from spinning in the hole, or sliding out of the hole. More often than not, this is not enough to prevent unwanted movement in a static stress problem. We need to constrain the pin in ways that it's not constrained in real life, but without influencing it to behave in unrealistic ways. If I just fix this face, the face cannot move or even change shape. The pin wants to displace and this face wants to distort under the load. My boundary conditions are preventing its natural reaction, increasing stresses in the area as it struggles against the fixed condition, and holding back the true displacement of the system. If one were to constrain this properly using the full model, it would likely involve constraining a small subset of nodes. For example, you can constrain all the nodes on this edge from translating in the Z direction. This prevents the pin from spinning, but still allows translation in the X and Y directions. We could use what's called a soft spring boundary condition. Soft springs can help prevent unwanted movement in the model when the forces causing that movement are very small. A spring with a very low stiffness could prevent the pin from spinning without greatly influencing the results overall. Methods like this are perfectly acceptable, but can get tedious if many parts are involved. If you're using a symmetric model, the symmetric boundary conditions that you must use also fix one translation degree of freedom. That's one less degree of freedom you have to worry about constraining to get a stable static problem. See here how this symmetry boundary condition will prevent the pin from sliding out of the hole as it cannot translate through the plane of symmetry, and it cannot spin as it cannot rotate through the plane of symmetry. This is often reason enough to use a symmetric model, but you also get the meshing benefits discussed in another video. Thank you for your time.